Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Here's the newest member of my family. This is little Noah. Yeah, and Noah was born on New Year's Day. So he was born that night. He wanted to be a January 1st baby. And uh, super healthy, super cute. And it made me think of something that I am doing um, that's easy peasy lemon squeezy and I wanted to share this trip this uh, trick for any of you new mamas out there um, so if you're not nursing for whatever reason um, then the hospital usually helps provide a few bottles before you go home these bottles are little and they're um, slow flow nipples and these bottles um, we we take the extras home then we save these bottles and wash them and rinse them out and um, that way they have the measurements already so we know how much our babies are drinking and uh, they're free bottles and they're little these are easy to pack in a diaper bag which is really really nice they're nice and skinny which also helps for older kids to help feed and hold. So my big kids are going to be loving this. Um, and then when they start to drink more ounces, then then you can go to your other size bottles, your regular size bottles. But this is a, just a quick and easy free tip um, for when you first come home with your newborn. Um, that's what we do. Love it. The other thing is, a lot of um, uh, tips are about the crib and having like a sheet, then a mattress pad, sheet, mattress pad. They call it like lasagna or layering. Uh, with some of my kids, that didn't work because um, the throw up or the wet diaper, whatever the issue was, would go through more than just the sheet and the pad. It would get to the next layer. And sometimes even the necks because they lay on the back of their head and it would just drip down and just sit, settle and pool in the one spot. So we uh, don't do the lasagna at all. But what we do do is we take these um, birth cloths. Now the hospital can give you some um, or uh, you can find them at Walmart, Target, probably anywhere. Um, we bought a whole bunch when I had the twins. And we even sewed some cute fabric on one side so it looked a little bit cuter than, you know, than a diaper or burp cloth. But we put this right under their head. And because these are designed initially, they were designed as diapers. Now they're used as burp cloths. They um, hold a ton of moisture better than any pad that you can get for their um, crib uh, mattress. So put this under their head. Um, then... All you have to do is take that off and put a new one. It saves their sheets, saves their blankets. Um, so we love it. That's what we do. We do this when they're um, getting a little bit bigger and they're like doing tummy time or just on their back playing with like a toy. Like sometimes there's like those arch toys and stuff like that. We'll do that. So these are very easy and versatile for a lot of reasons. They're also really handy when you're um, potty training. You put them in your baby's car seat, their booster chair, and um, in case they have an accident in your car, it saves your car seat so you don't have to take the whole thing apart to wash it or shampoo it. Um, so this has really helped for our three-year-old who we've been potty training for a while. He's great at home but still has accidents on the go. So um, another easy peasy lemon squeezy tip. Also, a lot of kids have reflexes a lot of newborns and so um what we do is um we we don't have like a fancy crib or a bassinet i mean those were just too expensive and the kids grow out of it so fast so we just have a hand-me-down crib that we love and what we do is um our crib the springs you can um, hire when they're little and then lower when they start to roll or get bigger and want to crawl or climb out of the crib so our the little metal mattress piece can higher and lower 
So if yours does that, higher just the one side, so it's a slight incline, that will help at nighttime feedings. Um, if they don't get all their burps out or if they have uh, reflux in any way, they're slightly inclined. The other thing is when we lost that crib, it, um, it broke. And so now we have a different one that doesn't incline um, on its own easily. What we do is we just stick a pillow under um, the slats in between the slats and the mattress and that also helps to incline it so just a couple of tricks you can do to incline your mattress at just a very small level that will help your little one with his with his reflex his any brushes <laughs> so anyways these are just a few tips for you guys i hope you have a great new year's uh, I would say it's probably going to be hard to beat mine. <laughs> Mine's the best, but hugs to you all, and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye. Noah, say bye.